Hi, I'm Jeremy Blowers, Executive Director of the Ontario Regiment RCAC Museum in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. Our museum is now open, but we wanted to give you a closer look in this series at the individual vehicles in our collection. Being North America's largest museum collection of operational historical military vehicles, everything you're going to see in this series is a running vehicle. No static displays, no monuments. That's what makes our museum unique in comparison to other museums around the world and also in North America. So we're going to have some of our vehicle experts take you through just a small selection. Um, our collection uh, covers the Second World War, the Cold War, and vehicles that are currently being used in conflicts all over the globe in the 21st century. So we hope you enjoy the series. If you do, please hit the subscribe button, follow us on our social media pages, and uh, we'll continue to bring you more great content like this. Hi, Dan Aker, I'm the operations manager of the Ontario Regiment Museum. Standing next to a brain gun carrier, a uh, universal carrier actually. The uh, universal carrier was an incredibly useful vehicle. About 60,000 of them were per, uh, built in World War II, about 30,000 of them uh, here in Canada by Ford Canada. And they were provided to Commonwealth forces uh, all across around, uh, all across the world. So the universal carrier is really interesting. Uh, they were used for reconnaissance. Every infantry battalion had a carrier platoon uh, in their in their basically support company that was used for reconnaissance, but also for exploitation. Um, you had carriers that would be towing or pulling more trailers with uh, the mortar platoon. You had carriers that were uh, pulling the anti-tank guns for the anti-tank platoon. Uh, in reconnaissance regiments, you would have a troop that would have some scout cars, some armored cars, and seven carriers in every troop, and they would be used for scouting. Uh, they were used as ambulances. They were used uh, for bringing supplies forward uh, when troops were uh, unable to get to with soft-skinned vehicles. It was dangerous. You could whip forward on uh, in a universal carrier, drop off the, uh, the food and ammunition, and take off. Um, they had some that were equipped with flamethrowers called the WASP um, that was used, that was used to burn out um, enemy car, uh, bunkers and, and dugouts. Um, I mean, a very useful vehicle, very mobile, uh, not terribly well armored, which was a difficulty, uh, especially when it came to mines. But really, a wonderful platform that could be used for a multitude of uses. My particular regiment in the Second World War uh, was a reconnaissance unit. And you'll see some of these vehicles. Um, there's actually a photograph I've seen, which has got a WASP flamethrower launcher, a uh, 50 caliber mounted uh, for the people in the rear to use, uh, as well as multitude of uh, Browning machine guns at various points. Um, that had been liberated from destroyed Allied vehicles. Reconnaissance people wanted enough firepower to get the heck out of uh, problems if they encountered them. Um, so here you see the driver. The driver actually has a steering wheel because it has a very interesting system where when you're doing gradual turns, it actually twists the track. But when you do a strong turn, it actually breaks one side of the track, applies a brake to one side of the track so you can make a tighter turn. Um, the co-driver, crew commander, whatever, would be sitting next to him and be using the weapon through the little slot in the front. In the back, you can have additional crewmen and supplies. Um, we have two in our collection, both functional. Uh, wonderful little vehicles, very mobile, a lot of fun to drive. Thank you. Thanks for watching and your interest in the Ontario Regiment RCAC Museum. If you can't visit us here in Ontario, subscribe below so you can catch all of our videos in our different series. If you can, uh, visit the gift shop in the link below, get some great tank swag and support our museum. We also ask if you are able, please consider donating. Thanks again.